Well, g'day viewers and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. This is our third video of the continuation of where we left off on the previous video. And don't forget to check out our Cyberpunk 2077 playlist area. And just to let you guys know that we're playing the PlayStation 4 version on the PS5. And uh, we hope you enjoy. This video and gameplay is uh, for people over 18 only. And also to let you guys view and discretion is advised. And this video will be done in 4K and it will show up in 4K after 24 hours of being uploaded to the channel. Let's go into the club. Put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Yeah? What's up in the big world? Surprise there. Oh, depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it over a drink. Hey, another round over here, Stan. So. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu? Looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? The club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. This one's me and Candice. Nothing's wrong. Really? Everywhere. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. You on the other side.
Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. V? Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No. You're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your... target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? <sighs> v? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick. Like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an Emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? 
Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good no, for analyzing cry. details, you know. human like perception, anything? even sure. boosted. Doesn't grasp. Yeah. It's it's exactly what you need. Relax. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Uh... Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Mm -hmm. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, you can count and on keep me, that babe. tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make you barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... 
Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt. I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, punch the cash, get and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Creative. You go in, snatch the yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. 
To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the storm. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On your car! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the Joseph register. And a how about you suck a bag of dicks? Okay. Hey? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Surf and Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh, hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa. Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I, before I blow you, I'll blow you! We go fuck up! We go blow you fucking head hang up! We go blow you fucking head off! Hard head hang up! We go blow you fucking head hang up! We go blow you fucking head off! Hard head hang up! We go blow you fucking head off! Hard head up! We go now! Before I blow you fucking head off! My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. 
V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh. Thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've gotta give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visualist old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now.
Not it. If... Hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Get on. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Noted. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can be stupid. Mm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. I miss this. You. I know. I know. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Soft, must be cut. It's like what we will not have 
Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. We'll listen to them. Just a fancy ass fridge. shall perish for a good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. You fuck up and they come knocking on my door. Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk.
Well, what do you think? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work yes. there, Mr. V. I said I'd come to you. I didn't. For what time last night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada, yada, yada. All the Are you bored? Go to the bar and feel chatty. Where do you shop? Mom, hey, got a little problem. Klein stiff, yeah? <laughs> Money, I mean. Tell the girls at the door. They will take care of it. No, it, it's my friend. She Ma, what a sweet out of bank. face you had. I know, I know, but she wants out. She'd rather Ma, not be there. What a sweet work little here, face you had. Time. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Come on in.